It's been a hot minute since we have dropped in with you, Arcane Bear family. Thank you for joining us today. It is a Monday, the 18th of May, and I had been taking my sweet time here with nature, reflecting on some of the things I think are going to be coming down this pipeline as we move into the future. Now, I didn't want to rush into making content over the last month because I felt that in these heightened times and kind of extraneous circumstances, it's very easy to get caught up in the moment and forget to keep that five-year outlook of where we're going in focus. And with this focus of five to ten years away from now, in my mind, today has gotten a lot easier. Now, in Costa Rica here, they've just opened the beaches this morning. It was a very exciting moment. Every country right now is taking a different approach to how they deal with this pandemic. The economic effects of this are going to be un unparalleled. We have not seen anything like this in my lifetime and potentially in others' lifetimes as well. This is a global phenomenon that we're seeing take place and it's going to have ripple and knock-on effects in other parts of the economy that we kind of often forget about. Now, a lot of people want to rush back to their jobs and there's good reason for this. You can't stay locked up forever. This was always going to be a very tedious balancing act no matter what country you're in. And in this moment, I want to congratulate everyone that's made it to this point. This has been pretty difficult. This has taken a lot of um, choices that are not, none of them, none of these were going to be like, yes, we got a great option here because we're always going to be stuck in that balancing position between keeping the economy alive and keeping people alive. It is, it is a hell of a lot easier to just print more money. It is a hell of a lot easier to just produce more stuff, but getting people back that we lose, especially, um, you know, as this pandemic grows and, and would flare up if we had done nothing. So this is like, a, uh, first off, a hat tip to all the different countries around the world who have taken their own path um, for better or for worse in trying to decide what that looks like for their society. I definitely shake my head at some of the stupid rapidity and draconian measures that are taking place by the governments, but I also see them often as a relapse for the fact that people themselves seem to have a hard time thinking critically and therefore maybe need to be regulated. I don't think that's the best way to go, but this seems to be what's happening. So in this, I wanted to get closer to a moment where we produce videos and content every day. I had taken this last little bit off because there's some exciting things in the background that I've been working on. Uh, which are always of the same flavor. So I've been really pondering and questioning, you know, you can see behind me, my whiteboard is blank right now. I've been trying to figure out how do we keep this consistent, relevant conversation going in these shifting economic times with such a varied mindset. And then I realized that I just need to remember that the entire point of the Arcane Bear is to communicate value. And right now, I think what's valuable is just sharing my sentiments with you guys, whatever they may be. So I'm going to do the best that I can to just share daily sentiments, even if there's no real editing, even if there's not a real point to the, to the comments, other than to be aware of, okay, we are here today, here are the, the, some of the facts of life that all these different countries are dealing with, economically speaking. And then here's what I think the next five to 10 years is gonna look like and what we can do today to really try to capture that value that's coming in the next waves. Because once this economic recession passes, as they all do, all bad things pass eventually, we're gonna see a monstrous new revolution in not just the tech sectors, but I think in human evolution and creativity and our desire and will to work together. So again, I wanted to use this as a moment to kind of thank everyone, no matter where you are in the world, for trying to do your part, for supporting and embracing one another, whether it's through donating to your charities, helping out um, with those that were in need at the time, and just offering a simple hand to anyone that might have needed it. These are the moments where I think we can really reflect on what we need to do as a species to shine and move on to, into the future and hopefully be able to move on into a better and brighter future than the one that we were building before. And I think that's what this is going to lead us into. We have astronomical 
ridiculously high job loss numbers, somewhere in the range of 30 to 50 million people probably over the next year, just in the United States alone. Globally, you're seeing massive waves of transitions into more rural areas. India, most notably as well, you saw a big kind of exodus into the countryside. Everyone should be planting a garden and growing food and sharing it with their neighbors. It's better to have a, a localized um, structured su support system for everyone to be able to work with instead of uh, relying on single points of failure. And as someone who's been massively interested in decentralization for many years, this also looks like the word localization, which is how do we produce something where it's robust in the system and the nature of what we create doesn't break down when we have to go through something like a pandemic. The economic infrastructure that we are running on was garbage to begin with. It's no wonder that it would f collapse to some degree through money printing and not quite yet, apparently, but we're getting there. We knew this game would go a lot longer than we thought. So I think the summation of this video is kind of like, hey, I'm back, and instead of worrying about am I gonna create these well-edited, focused videos on particular topics, or am I just gonna pick up the camera rant about all the different sentiments that I'm going through, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just share my sentiments. That way it's unfiltered, it's, uh, I guess, un I mean, it's, you could say that I'm not, it's not very well crafted, if, but because I don't, I'm not trying, I'm like, there's nothing on the whiteboard. Let's just see where we go. Why, why try to define something? I think the beauty of what I've really enjoyed about Arcane Bear is my, it's just to be able to do this. This is so awesome, right? I don't have to think a whole lot. I can just rant. So I do apologize that I've been taking some time uh, to try to gather my thoughts. Um, I'm just going to produce sentiment videos every day. That way we can capture that on a daily basis and I guess share that process and use the, use the value that I'm communicating mostly in its consistency because I've realized with all the time that I've spent away from you guys, I have not produced a video in two weeks and it's so easy just to sit down for five or ten minutes and riff and rant on how I'm feeling that day. Like this little nose cut I got. So that's what happens to you wander through the jungle. Anyways, this is Tia with the Arcane Bear. I'm going to produce a video tomorrow, and the day after that, and the day after that, and the day after that. Some of them might not be produced, some of them might be produced, but I'm going to do my best to just share my sentiments with you, whether they have any relationship to any of the major news cycles that are going on. I just want to share my thoughts, and I'm going to, I'm going to try to, I'm going to hold myself to this new core idea that I'm just going to share my sentiments with you guys, and then let all the other work kind of speak for itself. Anyways, this is Tia with the Arcane Bear. Give us a thumbs up if you like this content. If you're new to the Arcane Bear channel, well, thank you for joining us today. You're in for one heck of a ride because even I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we'll see you guys again on the other side.